Jameson Locke, former Oni agent, Spartan Force selected by Oni to hunt down the legendary Blue Team and a character as central to Halo 5 as the Master Chief himself. Who is Jameson Locke, and why does Oni feel he's capable of hunting down living legends? Born on March 15, 2529, on the colony of Jericho 7, Locke was orphaned when the Covenant invaded in 2535, this despite the efforts of the Spartan 2s. As he grew up, seeing his fellow orphans enlist, Locke grew to hate the UNSC, thinking of them as incapable of protecting their citizens. Because of this, Locke became a freelance tracker and assassin. Over the years, Locke's activities caught the attention of Oni. They saw great potential in the young man and approached him with an offer. Sensing the chance to find greater purpose and to do more with his life, Locke eagerly accepted. With the training and opportunities provided by Oni, Locke soon became one of their top agents. In September of 2552, Locke, now a lieutenant commander, compiled a target profile of Supreme Commander Thel Vadimi, highlighting the Sankhili's known history and particular skill for wiping out human forces. Ultimately, Locke found that taking out Thel had to be a top priority for Oni if humanity wanted to survive the war. During the war and in the years to follow, Locke would continue to deploy throughout human space as Oni needed. On February 7th, 2556, Locke and his team were deployed to the colony of Cedra, tracking possible terrorist activity. Turns out, their intelligence was spot on, and they found a Yonet making a trade with the Sangheili Zealot. Despite their efforts, the Zealot was ultimately able to unleash an element that only targeted humans. People as far as 10 kilometers from the blast site were affected, including two members of Locke's team. Working with the local Cedron Guard, Oni was able to trace the element to a shard of Alpha Halo, the ring that Master Chief, Spartan 117, had blown up less than four years prior. The explosion had caused a fusion reaction that created a new element that had not been present on the ring before. The ring shard, in an attempt to make an emergency slip space jump, had ended up in a dangerously close orbit with a nearby red giant. Because of the proximity and an abnormal rotation period, the teams would have a six-hour window to find the element, capture any prisoners, prime a havoc nuclear warhead at the site, and get off the ring. Locke's team and a team of Cedrons deployed to the ring fragment, quickly finding the element's site and the miners. It seemed like an easy mission, but the team soon discovered an alien threat. The now Legolo, a type of Legolo meta-colony, resided on the ring and had a ravenous hunger, to the point that they would throw themselves at just about any potential food source. To make things worse, the colony type could detect electromagnetic fields, meaning the first thing they attacked was the team's condor. With the condor down, the only way off the shard was the two-person tug the miners had used to get there in the first place. In light of such a grim fate, the teams decided to find the condor, recover the nuke, finish the mission, then draw straws to see who would live. As the night went on, people were lost, and the stress started to get to many of the team members, to the point that they started turning on one another. Eventually, Oni agents Horson and Ramos decided to mutiny, leaving their remaining survivors, Locke, a Cedron named Macer, and a former Spartan II, Randall Aiken, for dead. Luckily, Locke, Macer, and Randall were fairly close to the Condor when the mutiny occurred, and found that it would still work, albeit for a limited time. Drawing straws, Randall secretly made sure that Locke and Macer would escape. He was old, and his daughter had died during the attack on Cedra. He had no need to get off the shard. As Locke and Macer powered up the Condor, Randall took the Havoc nuke, intent on destroying the element deposits. Locke and Macer used the Condor to get close to the tug. This, however, attracted the attention of the Thano Legolo. Desperate to survive, Horrigan betrayed Ramos, hoping to buy time by sacrificing his former teammate. Ultimately, though, Horrigan was also consumed by the Legolo. On another part of the shard, Randall primed the nuke, and giving Locke and Macer their shot to get to the tug and off the ring. At some point following the mission to the Alpha Shard, Locke's talents were recognized by the Spartan 4 program, and he was offered a chance to join. Now, in late 2558, Blue Team has gone AWOL, and human colonies are finding themselves under attack by Forerunner machines. Locke has been tasked with leading Fireteam Osiris to discover the source of these attacks and bring in the AWOL Spartan 2s. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.